Yo, just keeping this quick, like there's so many, so, so much dietary information out there, people. And, uh, you know, what's it really all about? Yo, what's it really all about, man? High carb, fucking high sugar. That's what your body runs on. Like, you know, it's like sugar is so demonized and carbs are so demonized. Why? And why is, uh, you know, pharmaceutical and drugs so promoted? And why is McDonald's and fast food and Burger King and Taco Bell and KFC and Wendy's? And everyone knows you can just keep going right under the line with all the fried chicken we got up here in Philly. Like, that's the shit that's all promoted. So, you know, maybe there's a reason why sugars and carbs are demonized. And, um, you know, what people have to understand is, like, your medical doctors don't know shit about nutrition. They know a lot about drugs. So they're giving you, like, maybe some of those motherfuckers are even trying to help. And they're giving you drugs because they think they're trying to help because they know, know they know more about drugs than they know about proper nutrition. And they probably, they might even think that, that the drugs are better for you than fruit actually is. Like, they literally might even think that. So, you know, I'm not even saying those people are bad people, even though I'm so against the message. But you got all these all these obese people, and I know there's lots of obese people watching this video. And it's because you're eating too much fat. I mean, it's real simple. It's real, real simple. And, and, and stop blaming it on your genes. Because look, even if it, and we, it's not, but even if it was your genes' fault, um, you would still want to do anything you could possibly do to reverse that and, and to do anything you could possibly do to, to improve it. So regardless, you want to lose weight. So regardless if it's, if, if it's your genetic predisposition or not, you want to lose weight. So if you want to lose weight, you eat less fat. The, like as Dorian Ryder said, the fat you eat is the fat you wear. So the fat you eat is the fat you wear. So stop, eat less fat. Don't eliminate the carbs. What are carbohydrates? Look it up right on right now on Wikipedia or whatever. Carbohydrates are fuel. They're the fuel for the body. It's what the body runs on. The body runs, the body has its own reserves of small carbohydrate reserves and, um, it's just, it's all just about carbohydrates. The body runs on carbohydrates. I remember when we played sports as kids and, you know, before a big game, they tell you to carb up the night before. Um, it's just constantly, um, we have pasta nights before all our big games in high school for football. Like, that's what it's about. It's about carbs. Like, um, it's about energy, folks. And, I mean, it's like, it's not like, oh, well, you're older now and you can't. Um, you remember when you ate more carbs when you were a kid, you had more energy, but now you're older and your body can't deal with the carbs, um, so you gotta eat fat. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, look, give it a try. Like, you know, you know what you're doing right now is not working, so give it a try. Stop demonizing the carbs and sugar and, and give it a fucking try. Okay, but here's where it gets interesting, okay? Right carbs and right sugar. This is the message, okay? And this is why I'm clearing it up. We're keeping this video under five minutes, because I know that's, we only have so much time in a day. Right carbs and right sugar. Why? Okay, you got a little bit of time on right sugar and a little bit of time on right carb. Right sugar first. Okay, right sugar, something I love is like coconut palm sugar. You don't want highly refined, highly processed sugars that have been heated to, uh, you know, insane temperatures and then liquefied and then from there granulated. Like evaporated cane juice is far from being raw. It's far from actual cane juice. It's been heated to extreme temperatures and, and liquefied. Okay, so that it's not then then from there it has no nutritional profile and you're just you're just uh, you know instituting that sweetness into some type of processed food or some type of you know bullshit juice that's already been heated and lost its natural sugar so you're adding evaporated cane juice to it you know bullshit like that okay that that's what you don't want you know you don't need all these honeys and um, you know various different things but maybe you know a little agave and a little stevia can be better than you know certain other things but then everyone is is demonizing agave because it's so high in fructose and the liver um, metabolizes it different than other sugars I mean see what agrees with your temple like for me refined and these highly processed sugars uh, cane sugars and uh, not not like I love uh, then that's the thing like I love sugar cane but it's not sugar cane you know organic cane sugar isn't necessarily sugarcane. It's not, I mean, it's sugarcane, but it's been heated to such degrees where it's been stripped of its nutritional profile. So if you want anything, you want it raw. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, something that I find that works is, is coconut palm sugar. Um, that really is, is, is a good one. And it, it's, and, and you're not going to feel, you know, way down your vibration. Like it's all about energy. Like I know what I'm putting in my temple and if I put something new in my temple and I start to feel sluggish. You know, you start to experiment with things. Sometimes you just got to experiment. Like, I know a lot of people have diabetes out there, and some people like agave because it's low glycemic, or stevia because it's low glycemic. Um, you know, whatever. You know, things like uh, beet sugar these days. Uh, beet sugar is GMO in, in America. So there's various different things that we have to uh, take under consideration, but most of all, you're just listening to your body. Shit, I told you I got to keep this under five minutes. Give me another 30 seconds, uh, 40 seconds to talk about carbs. All right, so here we go. Good carbs, clean carbs, 
real clean, okay? So we're talking about in good carbs, my first ideal good carb is, is fruit. Fruits that are naturally high carb, high, high carb fruits, things like, you know, a lot of your tropical fruits, pineapples and mangoes, uh, bananas, things like that. Um, so basically what you want to kind of look at it from this perspective is if it's a really small fruit, one, it's probably not going to have too much carbs. And if it's, if it's a fruit that's very uh, liquidy, like, like a high water so solubility, a uh, high water content, then, um, if it's a high water content fruit, then, uh, it, a lot of those don't have, uh, as high carbs, but some of the melons that, that have a higher water content, they do have a decent amount of carbs to them. Not as much as a banana or a mango or a pineapple, but, or, um, but you know, you know, a little bit less than a pear, but they still have some carbs to it. And what you're going to see is you start to clean up your diet and you get rid of the meat and you get rid of all that stuff that's just filling you up. You're going to start to see that you truly run off carbs. And the more carbs you take in, the more energy you're going to have in any form. Um, you know, and, and, that, and that's what it's all about. Carbs equal energy. Carbs are fuel for your body. You just need the right carbs. Just like your, your gasoline tank needs the right gas, you need the right carbs. And um, yeah, I mean, if you're just having all these highly re refined, highly processed, genetically engineered, um, you know, non-organic, highly sprayed, highly pesticide, covered in rodenticides and herbicides, and um, you know, they they got all types of uh, you know fungal growth on them, yeah, and, and that's your semolina wheat pasta, and you're saying, oh, I'm not getting good results from these carbs. Well, I wonder why. I mean, I wonder why all, all these toxins and you know, um, you know, like literally, it's it's all been genetically engineered. Um, you know, to become soft and fluffy, and it's just not natural at all. Like you want to just be eating natural. Like, like you don't want the plants' uh, uh, natural design. Uh, that it's like every plant has like a natural design, um, and it bears a fruit or bears a seed. Um, that is, it's like it's like it's gift for for the human beings. But if it, if the humans have modified it or altered it in some way. Um, now, hybridization is okay. Think about hybridization as just basically being a smart farmer um, trying to, you know, yield the best crop. So hybridization is fine. Um, it's just, you know, when you get into, um, you know, high techy things like uh, GMOs that you're totally not fine when you're talking about transplanting and splicing in foreign DNA of, of one thing to do something that makes complete sense, like complete nonsense, like making it herbicide resistance. Like, you know, <laughs> you know that should never even be in the equation. You know, you shouldn't even be using herbicides. So, um, like I said, I can't take up too much more of your time today, folks. Uh, I just want to say a couple more seconds about, you know, right, right carbs. See what carbs work for you. Uh, I like carbs like, uh, you know, fruit preferably. And then, uh, you know, my backup plan is usually brown rice. Uh, quinoa is not a bad one either. Um, and, you know, um, other options that aren't bad are like uh, rolled, o rolled oats. Um, I like to get that with like no processed sugars or anything, like high refined sugars or anything like that. Uh, no oil, um, especially non-GMO oil. Um, I don't like to do like oils and shit like that in the morning by any stretch. I really don't like to do much oil at all right now. Right now I'm really trying to just lay off all those olives oils and just do like when I do my big salads without oil. Just trying to do everything without oil right now. And um, I think I'm getting uh, good results from that right now. If I ever do have any uh, little bit of oil, most of your dishes you can actually just cook with water. That's what they use in uh, in China. They just cook with water a lot. In, in some, in some uh, you know, maybe more, more ancient Chinese culture. I don't know exactly what they're doing now, but um, cooking with water can be good. But if anything, you know, I think uh, the best is like maybe use like a Dr. Bronner's like unrefined um, um, whole kernel um, organic uh coconut oil um but it's got to be unrefined i mean and you got to it's got to you know a lot of these brands are, are fake and phonies out there and that's what for me being on that end i can really delve into these brands and you know link up with people and talk to them and find out what products are not re are really raw and what products are denatured and which ones aren't and uh that you know then they can be um if they aren't you know and you're going to tell you can tell your temple's going to let you know you know based on what results you're getting from if you're getting high energy from it then you know it's it's probably pretty legit so um yeah, I mean, basically, um, just lots and lots of fruit, folks. I mean, that's what it comes down to. I mean, we're fruit eaters. You know, ha have your big salads, definitely, to get your greens and your veggies. And, uh, you know, have your backup plans, your, your steamed vegetables and steamed rice. And, um, you know, you could do, uh, you know, if you, if, you, if you do fine with wheat, you know, then do pasta. I mean, I do gluten-free pasta once in a while, but um, I'd rather just keep it simple with rice and veggies. Uh, it does it for me. Um, you know, beans is a decent backup plan. Um, I do tofu. I like tofu. Um, I think it's uh, very clean, low fat, high source of protein. 
Um, you know, uh, helps me, uh, you know, keep a little, a little bulk on, uh, so I'm not a skinny little bitch. Um, and it is important, like a lot, a lot of guys, like they're not, if you're skinny, like a little rail fruitarian, they are not going to listen to a fucking word of advice you say. They want to see a little muscle tone on you. And it's not about like just trying to convince others, but I, I like a little muscle tone on me too. Like I, I like, uh, you know, soy don't make me tired or sluggish at all, you know, as long as it's from whole organic soybeans and, uh, things like that. So there's a couple alternatives. I don't, I don't do the nuts really, um, you know, they're not really raw anyway. They're like really expensive for what? You know, I'd rather just spend all that money on fruit. So I'll uh, throw a little beans in there for, um, you know, a little protein, little carbs, a little fat. Because um, I do such a low fat diet anyway. Uh, you know, what I'm doing right now is um, a lot of uh, pinto beans. Not a lot of pinto beans by any stretch. But, you know, maybe maybe like, uh, you know, two cans of pinto beans a week if I have a, you know, cooked food dinner. Um, right in, in the... Summer in Pennsylvania, um, and I am moving to California soon where I can go much higher percentage raw. Uh, then I do, uh, you know, I try to do uh, raw throughout the day, but it's just not practical. It's not, it's not entirely practical unless I have a ton of uh, ripe fruit. So um, it's just a lot. Like, it's, it's a lot. Like, you know, you can, you go, you go buy like so much fruit and you never know, like, um, is it, is it how it's all going to ripen and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I buy hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of fruit every every uh, week, and it's still, you know, you're not always going to have ripe fruit. It's not always going to be high-carb fruit. you got various different berries and grapes right now that, you know, aren't necessarily high-carb. So uh, it's pretty much about staying carbed up. So, you know, if I eat my 20 servings of fruit and I eat well over 2,000 fruit calories a day, and um, it's just, it, that, that's a lot of fruit, that's a lot of money, that's, you know, probably at least 40 you know, about $40 or so. Um, it's a lot of bananas which are cost efficient, but everything else other than the bananas are pretty expensive, especially when you're doing everything organic. So, you know, you really don't want to be spending, you know, over $50 a day on food. It's, it's a lot, you know, so, um, you know, um, at night I'll do a little brown rice and, uh, you know, add steamed veggies and things like that uh, with a little tofu on it or beans. Tofu or beans, a little protein. Like I said, I do a little protein, a little more protein than the 80-10 tenors. I'm not exactly exactly sure how. I definitely don't do 20% protein, but um, I'm sure I do. Yeah, probably about 15%. Um, so that's it. That's it. I um, just want to get you know. I'm really on board with the backup plan options because I think it's very practical for us who are living in different climates and we're trying to stay vegan and we're trying to stay energetic and all that. And um, um, and yeah, I mean we're and you realize that you know there's just there's just other options. This is about staying open minded. So. Um, so much for staying under five minutes. Looks like I stayed under 13, though. Peace.